Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. Early in 2023, SRAM introduced their T-type transmission and I did review pretty much all the components of that drivetrain, starting with the cassette, ending up with the crank sets. But one thing that I also looked at was the newly introduced chains. These are flat top chains, similar to the ones that were introduced by SRAM in 2019 for road group sets. How are these different? Can you use a SRAM road flat top chain on your mountain bike? Let's take a closer look. And if you remember from my previous video, these chains are actually different than the previous Eagle 12 speed in a few ways. Not only the fact that the top is flat, they have those elongated side plates, but they also have bigger rollers, something that makes them incompatible with the previous cassettes, but they are still compatible with previous chain rings and crank sets. During the launch, SRAM kind of avoided the question of whether the new T-Type for mountain bike is different than the flat top for road. And in some articles, you can see that maybe the mountain bike chain is thicker than the one for the road. Why don't we take a close look and measure them side by side. And here we have an Eagle XX T-Type chain on the left. So that's the mountain bike chain. SRAM rival. 12 speed this is the road chain they're both flat top as you see in this picture i just uh, cleaned the sram road and this one is already waxed so it might give us a tiny bit of uh, dimension variation first the height of the plates here's the road measured right here where the pin is and is 855 i go to the mountain bike chain and it's pretty much the same 852, so no difference there whatsoever. Power lock used by XX, so that's the mountain bike. Quick link, here it is, 505, 504, the road, 506. So pretty much the same type of power locks used. What about the thickness? There's gotta be a difference, right? Well, this is the road chain. 485, measuring a couple of spots, 485. The mountain bike chain, so the XX chain, 487, 485. So hard to tell the difference on the exterior dimensions of the two chains. But what about internal dimensions, the distance between the plates? And here's the road chain, the distance between those inner plates is 197 in comparison the mountain bike chain 195 so no difference there let's see the outer plates 350 for the mountain bike and for the road that's 355 so again internal dimension of the two chains it's the same these chains have the same pitch, the same use by the previous Eagle 12 speed, but are the rollers any different? Road versus T-type. Chain pitch is the distance between the roller to roller to roller. As for the rollers themselves, here's the rival 788. Let's measure a couple. 787, so quite consistent. Mountain bike. Oh, look at that, 788, 87. Let's measure a couple more. 786, so the roller size is the same on these flat top chains. Let me look at, this is a GX Eagle, so the older 12-speed chain mountain biking. So these rollers are a tiny bit smaller. 765, so 0.2 of a millimeter smaller on the old Eagle chains. But if you remember, even these chains had oversized rollers. This is a Shimano 11 speed chain. And if I measure the roller, that's 7.6, 7 7.6 versus the 765. So yes, Eagle 12 speed uses slightly bigger uh, rollers and if you move on to the flat top these use even bigger rollers all right folks so SRAM rival flat top road chain on one side 
SRAM transmission T-type chain on the other side. What's the difference between the two? There is actually not much of a difference between the two chains, road versus mountain biking. I mean, seriously guys, take another look at these side by side. Can you tell which one is which? There's no additional chamfers, there's no extra material, the plates are all the same dimension. I am sure they're all coming out of the same machine in Portugal where SRAM is making these chains. But one thing that is definitely different is the price. I mean the T-type chains are a few times more expensive than the road chains, flat top chains. Okay, maybe the T-type transmission mountain biking chains have some special coating that the road chains don't. But are they worth a few, like three, four times the price of a road chain? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I know I'm gonna try these on my T-type transmission whenever I get to install it because it's very tempting. Again, the price difference is staggering between the two. What do you guys think? Do you have any questions for me? Let me know in the comments below. Hope you liked the video. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. And until next time, hope to see you folks on the trails. Are you getting one of these T-type transmissions? Let me know. Cheers, guys. Cheers.